today, we've got some changes in the weather world that we're keeping an eye on. I guess you could say our pattern is going to explode a little bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at this time lapse video coming out of Enzyme Peak. You're going to see the clouds moving. So we had a weak cold front that cooled us down slightly today. Now we were still above average, but we're about to blow up temperatures when it comes down to the midweek because high pressure is building. Great video to see that time lapse. As you look at the satellite radar, you see that weak front kind of dragging away from the state. It opened the door for slightly cooler conditions in northern and central Utah. Few storms in the last few hours, those targeted eastern Utah. That's really where we had the moisture potential, but much of the state was quiet. Love this photo. Hey, thank you, Miguel. Sending this from Delta. Isn't that the prettiest sunset coming out of Delta? Love this. ABC4.com is where you can submit your photos or email us weather at ABC4.com. 88 for that high today. Usually 82 is where Salt Lake tops out, but we were above that. 83 in Logan, 87 in Provo, 90s on the eastern side of the state, and 99 in St. George. Hey, we'll take a break. It's a slight one, but we did see that stretch of triple digits. Here's our breather. Yesterday we hit 100, today at 99. Tomorrow it's off to the races yet again. For the Wasatch Front into the overnight, clear skies will hold steady as we see those temperatures in the 70s in Salt Lake. We'll bottom out in the low to mid 60s in many areas. Some outlying areas could get to the upper 50s, but by 9 a.m., back into the 70s with clear skies and lots of sunshine. That's brought to you by building high pressure. So the ridge is coming back. It impacted us last week. It's coming into position. And when you see that area of high pressure, the ridge builds. We get sinking air underneath the ridge. Temperatures go up. We get that clockwise flow around the air. And at times, last week, it funneled in a little moisture, but we also get gusty southwesterly winds. That's what's ahead, meaning we could see our first triple digit day of the season in Salt Lake. Taking a look at those temperatures on June 6th, just last week, we hit our first 90 and 95 degree day with the help of that high pressure. Our first 100 degree day doesn't typically happen until July 7th, but it could be in the cards this week as that ridge really amplifies. Future cash shows us the ridge coming back into place. You see dry conditions because high pressure acts as a storm block and we stay dry for several days. That will change. Here we are into Thursday. That southwesterly flow and southerly component is going to get us hot. Cloud cover increases because we get an area of low pressure moving through the desert southwest that's going to lift through a portion of the beehive state, grazing southern Utah, bringing a more, I would say, moisture packed massive air that will bring the potential for some wet weather, but it also could moderate temperatures that's going to lift. So southern and eastern Utah do have a chance of seeing some thunderstorm activity as we get towards the end of the work week. Forewarning you now, high pressure is still looming though for the weekend. Because of the ridge for the midweek, we already have a brand new heat alert. It's an excessive heat watch for Glen Canyon that goes into effect Wednesday and holds on through Thursday evening. Now this is the only area in Utah that currently has a heat alert that could change as we trek towards the midweek. Air quality into tomorrow, moderate, expected for many places along the Wasatch Front, including Box Elder and Tooele County in northeastern Utah. Why? You're going a lot of why. It's not inversion season. But when we get that unfiltered sunshine, ozone levels increase. That unfiltered sunshine really lends itself to the chemical reaction that produces ozone and that peaks in the heat of the day. So heads up there, we want you to stay safe. Ozone's a sunburn for your lungs. Nobody likes a sunburn. 80s, 90s for tomorrow, 91 in Salt Lake, triple digits in Moab, 103 in St. George. So a nice temperature spread, but it's the appetizer as we run about 8 to 10 degrees above normal. St. George seven day showing the triple digits. Another cool down. Woo, what a snap. Getting down to 99 on Friday as that system moves through. You can see 100 plus returns fairly quickly. Wasatch Front going low 90s for our Tuesday. I think the potential is there Wednesday. We'll see what happens Thursday. Upper 90s if we don't hit the century mark. And then we get to the 90s and 80s. But I tell you what, that happened fast. I feel like we <laughs> oh. blinked and we hit the 90s last week. And now I'm already telling you we can maybe see 100. Totally. I feel like we were like bring on summer and then it's like, okay, <laughs> so we'll take you seriously. the gas. It was like, <laughs> whew, they floored it. Here we go.